We have four core values that are wrapped around four simple words. And those four simple words are what? We are passionate about. Everybody that's here just said we are passionate about. All right, we're passionate about. We're passionate about. One we're passionate about is purpose. We're passionate about our purpose. That's our destiny and our direction. Two, we're passionate about loving. We're passionate about loving. We're loving people. We're building relationships, horizontal and vertical. We're conflict resolvers. Three, we're passionate about giving. We are giving people of our time, our talent, and our treasure. And then four, we're passionate about learning. That means that we are purposely being discipled. We're a purposefully discipled culture. We're engaged in Bible study. We're engaged in Christian education. We're engaged in personal growth. We're engaged in the process of becoming better in any and all parts of our life. So we are, we are passionate about those things. And we're thankful today that God has allowed you guys who may be here with us today and those who may be watching us live or will watch this uh, screen later. We're thankful for you. We're thankful for your love. We're thankful for, for you being with us week after week. And God is blessing us and he's growing us. Amen. During this month, during this month of October, it is Pastor's uh, Appreciation Month, and I'm thankful this, for this opportunity in this month to hear from the pillars of our church. We didn't bring guest preachers in and all this other kind of stuff. I thank God that we have home talent. I thank God that we have uh, a, a disciple culture of people who are excited to grow and share in their ministry. They, they, they may not call themselves to be preachers or prognosticators of the gospel or different things like that, but they have a word nonetheless. Amen? Amen. Last week we were uh, honored to hear from uh, Jerome Holiday and uh, Tia Goodrow, we were honored to hear their word, and I believe Tia gave us a TKO. <laughs> and, and Jerome, he uh, spoke about the word, you know, going forward and power, and we, you know, we dealt with and went through the process, and we're going through the process. And on today, we're, we're honored this morning to be able to hear from two of our musical staff. We're, able, we're honored to be able to hear from these two young men who the Lord has his hands on. Somebody said the Lord got his hands on them. Oh, he's a man. He knows his stuff. Well, I'm playing one of the ways. He gave us a little book of poet. And I said the Lord got his hands on them. And he's going to not just use their hands, but he's going to use his hands and feed them the word in their lips that they will begin to speak unto us on today. So we're going to make room this morning for Deacon Adam Stephanie and for Brother Emmanuel Clark. They're going to come and they're going to speak to us and they're going to share the word of God with us. So those who are here with us this morning, let's, make, let's, let's, let's treat them better than y'all might treat me. All right, so let's be engaged with them on today. Let's, let's, let's push them on today. I see, I see, I see our backup, our backup keyboard player is, is ready to just to jump on the Adam. So we're going to be able to hear the word of God. And, and now, as they say, if we don't change keys, it's too much to today. It, it's gonna be, I was still having a call again, so it's still having a call that we don't, that we don't modulate today. All right? So we're going to put our hands together. Come on, y'all, who are here. Let's put our hands together. We're going to pray for you from the family. The family is going to come, and we're going to share the word of God with us on this morning. God bless you all.
Father God, I thank you for waking me up this morning. Next, let's look at the word poor. 
The word poor means to flow rapid in a steady stream. Then I'm gonna look at the phrase back into it. It means to guide or move somebody, someone, or something back into something. Um, I wanna talk about a good shepherd, because you know, uh, I look at a possibility as a, a very, a very, very good shepherd. And, you know, he has a lot of qualities that a good shepherd has. So, a good shepherd is someone, you know, who's caring. A shepherd who knows how to provide for his sheep. A good shepherd pours wisdom into his members. A good shepherd pours correction and accountability into his members. A good shepherd pours love and support into his members. By showing up in bad situations as well as good situations. It is important that we always you know, pour back into a good shepherd by attending the worship service. You know, showing up and being on time. Also, it is important that we you know that we do our jobs, that we are assigned to, and that we know what we are assigned to. Also, Preach it's important it. that we do not wander off. Yes. Like seriously, like because I noticed that a lot of people, you know, they come like to certain church services and stuff, and, like certain churches, and they you know, don't come back yeah. and do their fulfill their job. Yeah, yeah. Uh, good shepherd wants his flock to transform. He wants transformation. He wants you not to be the same. Yes, oh. yes. Um, next, you have to be able to communicate with your leader. You know, let them know, you know what's going on, how you feel and stuff like that. What you, how could you better the ministry? Also, the last thing, the last point I had is um, that you should celebrate and honor your, you know, your leader. A lot of times, you know, I see this a lot where, you know, we just come and, you know, we do our jobs, but we never you know, tell the lady that we truly appreciate them. Come on. So, you know, I want to take a moment out right now, and I want to tell Pops about that I appreciate it. I'm all with you all. Can we make some noise for Pops right now? <laughs>
You got to get it for yourself right now. Does that make any sense to y'all? So I'm going to ask those who are watching us as well as those who are here. Now those who are here, I can see you. But I want you all to jump up on your feet. I want you all to get up on your feet all. And if it's like some of us, move a little slow out of your seat. But however, if you jump up or if you ease up, now those who are watching us at home, if you're at home and you may be watching us and you're drinking your favorite cup of coffee or or your tea or whatever. And if you're laying down, if you're laying down in the bed and you're watching us, I want you to sit up off the side of your bed. Now, y'all look over here in this corner. Y'all been working for social distancing. So, come on, slide, slide, slide. Y'all come over here. Y'all three over here. Come on over here. Come on over here. Come on, y'all come back here. Come on, slide, slide, slide. Come on up here. Come on up here. Come on up here. I tell you, come on up here. Where's your microphone, baby? Where's your microphone? Now, y'all stay with us, Michael. We're going to get ready. We're going to break the box. We're gonna praise the Lord. 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 Right where we at. So we're talking about eternal development. Now I want everybody to just open up your mouth right now behind your hands. Do whatever you have to do. But go put your hands together. And then open up your mouth and let's give God a great praise in here. Come on, let's give God a great praise in here.
y'all one more time. Put your hands together, give God praise. Give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. We honor you, Lord. 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 He's a great God. You're worthy of all of our praise, God. This God, if you don't want to be a part of the mission, if you don't know that in the fellowship, and as you don't know him in his resurrection power, we invite you to get to know the Lord. We invite you to make Jesus your Lord and your Savior. We invite you to repent of your sins. We invite you to be healed with the power of his spirit. We invite you to invite him into your heart and you make him your Lord. Those who may know him already, but you have been out of the place of fellowship with him. We invite you to reconnect with the Lord. Just as you are. Just as you are. Just as you are. Come to him. Just as you are. Come to the Lord. Just as you are. Wounded. Beat up. Messed up. He still has a place and purpose for you. Hurt. He still has purpose for you. Disappointed in life, he still has purpose for you. God wants to get the glory out of your life. And we're praying for you here at Spread the Word. As a matter of fact, let's pray right now, everybody. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, you see those who are here, those who are watching us. Lord, some are at one place, another, and at another place in their life. But we all have a common place, and that is that we need you now. We need you to deliver us. We need you to save us. We need you to make us whole. We need you to mature us and help us to lack nothing. We need an infusion of faith. We need encouragement. We need empowerment of your spirit. Lord, meet us right where we are. And transform us by the reward of our minds. Save us, God. Make us be your fellowship with you. We believe you, God, that you are a savior, a healer, and a keeper. We thank you for these things right now. Do it for us right now, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you all today. God bless you all today. We also, if you don't have a church home, if you don't have a church home, we invite you to explain the word to be your church home. And no matter if you're on the other side of the world, we want you to be part of our church family. If you don't have a church home, reach out to me. Inbox me, direct message me. Call my church number. Seven seven four guys. Call my church number. Seven seven three two two six four five eight five. And we will get your information, we'll connect with you. And we want you to be part of this growing family. Even as we're virtual or whether we're physical, we want you to be part of 
We want you to be part of what God is doing with us. God bless you all today. God bless you all today. God bless you all today. The last thing before we let you guys go today, we're going to prepare our hearts for you. We're going to prepare our hearts for you on this morning. First thing we want to say to all of those who are watching us virtually, first of all, we want to say thank you for your continued faithfulness. We want to say thank you for your continued support. And we're blessed to be able to know that you are partnering with us in this kingdom initiative that we pray that you have encouragement and strength and listen in every hour of your life. That being said, we also thank our church members who are watching and who are giving, who are faithful and giving every week, whether you're physical or emotional. So at this time, we're going to prepare our hearts to give. Our ways to give are a silver, PayPal, or Zelle. That information is S-T-W-W-C-C-H-I at gmail.com. Again, that's S-T-W-W-C-C-H-I at gmail.com. Or by cash app, our cash app information is dollar sign, all caps, S-T-W-M. Again, that's dollar sign, all caps, S-T-W-M. Those who are here, who are physical in the, uh, the church with us now, let's take the same information, and let's so that the Lord has blessed us and has prospered us. Let us prepare our hearts to give, and let us pray. Father, we thank you for the, this time. We thank the Lord for what it is you have blessed us to be able to give to your house on today. And Lord, as we are sowing our seed this morning, we know that there is no lack in us because there is no lack in you. We are thanking you, Lord, because we are sowing our seed. We are about to reap a harvest of jobs and better jobs. We are reaping a harvest of benefits and promotions. We're leaving the harvest of wise stewardship and money management skills. We're leaving the harvest, God, of new businesses, new buildings, new homes, new souls that are being saved, new people that we're being able to reach because we are starting in this moment. We honor you for these things right now. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you again for your giving. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is Jeff Holiday. is where all of our content goes up. This is every service. Also, be able to look at the Tuesday prayer. Tuesday morning, pop up prayer, 7.30 a.m. Bible study, virtually, 7 o'clock p.m. Wednesday night. God is doing a great thing in our Bible study. We are in the, with, in the midst of our Black Fat series that someone likes to talk about that Jay Rule, <laughs> Jay Rule uh, gave us the title a clapping back. It's really shocking, but uh, 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 Apostle Regina loves to say J Wood, but I guess he's overly fanatic or something. So we're going to talk about clapping back for the rest of this month of October. And we want you to join into our Bible study, our interactive Bible study, 7 o'clock on Facebook Live. God has given us some great things to share. We've been talking about managing our emotions. We've been talking about watching our mouth 
And we're going to be talking about being empowered also over the next couple of weeks. So we're thankful again. God bless you all again, those who are watching us. For those who are with us, who are in the building, let's put our hands together. Everybody that's in the building, let's give God praise for our virtual audience right now. We bless God for you. You guys have a great day. We love you. We'll talk to you all soon. God bless you for now.